Hi everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is Monochrome Junk Journal Part 3. In this tutorial, I'll show you one journal page that will have lots of little elements all over. So you're going to see rubber stamping, stenciling, fabric, washi tape, uh, digital images. So there's a lots of things in this one tutorial, so I hope that you enjoy it. For this page, I decided that I want to use some book pages. We're going to use some rubber stamps and scraps of fabric to create a journal page. So I've got a Bible page. You could use a dictionary page. If your paper is not thick enough, you might glue two together and that way it's a little bit thicker, but this seems to be a nice weight. So what I'm going to do here is I want to stamp all over this on one side and then we're going to use a stencil on the other side. I've got some archival ink in black, jet or jet black, and I've got the bird collage stamp by Beeline Designs. I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to come over to one side, make sure I have it right side up and stamp kind of going off the page just a little bit. I'm not really worried about the top and I'm also not worried if I don't have a perfect impression because this is a background and I will stamp this all over. So I'm going to start on one side, stamp, I'll slide my paper over and I'll stamp again. I'm changing how high I put this on my page just a little bit. So it's stamped all over. And like I said, I'm not really worried about this area up here. I'm going to cover it up and I'm okay that if some of the stamping wasn't perfect, I want to go ahead and stamp, turn this over and I'm going to grab a stencil. This is from the September 2020 stencil club. And I'm going to grab my spray box. I use this box just to kind of help when I'm spraying. So hopefully I don't get spray everywhere on my desk and I've got it's black tattered angels glimmer mist. I'm going to shake this up really well and then I'm going to spray inside my box here all over. This black tattered angels is really thick so the sprayer sometimes kind of gets stuck so I have to help it just a little bit. All right so now that I've sprayed all over I'm going to grab another sheet of paper. In this case I just have some copy paper and we're going to lay it on the back here and mop up any excess tattered angels. And then what I like to do is go ahead and just spritz the backside just a little bit. That way, whenever I want to use this page later, I've already somewhat have it decorated. Peel this back. There's my mop-up paper. I love the design of that. Remove the stencil. And then I'm going to dry my page. So I'll use my heat tool and get it dry. All righty. So there's both sides with the background done. I've got a piece of scrapbook paper that I cut into a 12, or no. I cut it into a two by 11 inch strip. It was 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. So what I'm going to do is take this piece and fold it in half lengthwise. And I'll use my bone folder to kind of help get that crease really nice and smooth. And then I want to glue this on the top portion where my page came out of the book has holes in it. So I'm covering that up with this strip of paper. So I'll just adhere this across the top. And I'll go ahead and fold my page in half. That way I know where the center mark is and I'll be able to adjust and put things the way I want on the page. All right, I've got a couple of pieces of paper here. I've already trimmed them down to be five and a quarter inches. And I think they're right around two and three quarters of an inch wide. I've got my crocodile corner chomper here on the quarter inch side and I'll just round the corner. So however you want to round the corners is up to you. And I've taught this technique in one of my 12 days of junk journal gift ideas where I took a label and I used a permanent marker or black marker to make a border. So I'm going to use my ruler and line it up with the edge, just a little bit of it showing. And then I will draw that straight edge. So we have a nice straight edge and I'll just do that on all the sides. And then when I'm done, if I miss the corners, I'll just take my marker and then just kind of cut across that corner. 
like so. I'm going to repeat this a couple of times uh, because I need them for both sides of my journal page. I've got another book page here and I want to make a little pocket element. So I've got these that I'm setting aside and so now I'm making another little element that I want to create. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a rubber stamp that I want to use, which is the Robin's stamp. And I think what I want to do is stamp it in this little area. And I just think it looks really cute on the book page. So what I'm going to do is trim this down to fit where my pocket area is going to be. I've already cut a piece of black cardstock, so I know that I want to mat it on top of this. I'm going to score this piece. So basically, I'm just scoring the top half because I want to have a secondary pocket. And I'll just fold this over. So that'll give that a little bit more strength on the top of that page. I don't need all of this, so I'm going to cut off some of it. Now I'm going to use my Distress Ink and go all the way around the edge. I'm using black soot and then the archival, uh, what is this? This is Ranger Ink blending tool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this upper portion. And then I want this to be a pocket on top of this black piece. And I've got a few strips of book pages that I've cut. One inch strips that were the length of the page. And I will come in here and put a bead of glue across the bottom. And basically I'm making this so that the pocket, I can use the full depth and width of this. I'll trim off the edge. And then I'm going to put another piece on each side. I'll let this dry for a little bit before I fold the edges in. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do the same thing with this black piece. Adding strips of paper like this kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility with your papers. So maybe you've got a piece of paper that is relatively small, but you want to figure out a way to make it a deeper pocket. Or maybe that paper's too fragile to score and be able to fold back the edges and bottom so that you can make a pocket. By adding strips, we can make any piece of paper into a pocket like this. All right, so this one should be somewhat dry. So I'm going to come in here and cut at an angle, the corner. I'll come in on the side top here at an angle. And I'll do it again on this side and this other corner. Again, make sure that this is dry before you start folding it in. So I'm going to come in here and fold the bottom up even with the edge of the paper. So as you can see, you can't see it from the front, but you'll see this little tab on the back. And I'll repeat that on all the sides. So this piece is going to go on top of this piece, but I want to go ahead and do the same thing here, which is to trim the corners and then fold it. So here's my bottom and then here's the top. So now what I'll do is I'll glue this down on top. So I'll use these little tabs to glue it into place. And then I'll come back to my foundation paper and I want to put this in the bottom in the corner here or bottom half of the page. Now I want to take one of these rectangle pieces that we made into a label and it's going to go in this upper portion. So I'm just kind of gauging where I want it and I'll glue this down. I've got a little bird from the Flying Friends cube. I think it's like seven little bird stamps. So we're going to stamp it over here in the corner. Cute. This is from the Damask Birds Cube. I stamped it on a piece of white cardstock and then fussy cut it out and then put it onto a book page that I went around the edge with a black pen. And I will glue that right up here at the top. So it just kind of adds a little decoration. Let's move over to this side. So this time I have a book page and a black piece of paper and I have from the birdhouse cube, I think that's right, birdhouse cube, and I thought this would be a cute little image to put on top of some book page. See how that turned out? Pretty cute. I'll go around the edge with Distress Ink again. This time I'm just going to glue these two pieces together and not make two pockets. But I do want to put a piece of paper on these two sides so that I'll have a nice little tuck spot. And just like I did on the other little pockets I made, I'll cut the corners and then I'll fold this once the glue is dry. 
So that's going to go up here in this corner. And I have another one of these little label pieces that I want to put down here. I've got another bird from Flying Friends. And this time I'm going to put it in this corner. Prior to the video, I went ahead and stamped Bird Life. This is a set of four stamps. So I just stamped one of those onto a piece of white cardstock. I then matted it with a book page and then a piece of black paper. No, actually, the black paper, the paper in the background is a book page that I went around the edge with a black marker. So you can kind of see that. And I'll put that right here. I'll go ahead and fold these edges in and then we'll glue it down. I have a couple of journal cards I made. So this one is a three by four inch piece of watercolor cardstock that I happen to have in my stash. And I just sewed a little piece of some lace up here at the top. So that's going to go there. This one is an artist trading card size that I stitched a little piece of some black and white fabric that will go over here. So it can go in this pocket or this pocket. So let's go ahead and turn this over and let's work on the other side. I've got a book page here. Again, it's just a book that I don't even know what the name of it is because I've already tore it all apart, but I thought this was a nice color. So what I'm going to do is fold it in half. I'm looking at it to see which way I want to do it. I think this way. And then I'm going to fold up the bottom oh, about an inch. So you could use a ruler if you need to mark it. I'm just going to fold it up a little over an inch. I'll go ahead and glue this as one piece. So I'll glue here, this way, and I'll give a little bit of strength to our piece of paper. Now I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges with some Distress inks. So I'm going to use the black soot again. And then I have a scrap of fabric here that I want to put down. This one? No, I want this one. No, I want this one. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I'm going to put that in the middle here. So I'm just going to put down a little bit of glue just to help hold it in place because I do plan to go to my sewing machine and I only need glue in the middle to hold it in place while I sew. So we're going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch across the top and stitch across the bottom. Then I'll fold it close and I'll stitch all the way around this outside edge. All right, so I'm at my sewing machine. I have regular thread, regular needle. I'm using an electronic machine. So I have it on zigzag set at two and two for the stitch width and length. And again, I'm just gonna stitch across the top portion of my pocket, the bottom portion of my pocket. I'll fold it up and then I'll stitch all the way around. It is important that if you are going to glue any portion of paper or fabric together, that you let that glue dry before you sew because your needle can stick to it and it becomes a gummed up mess. So just don't do that. Wait for it to dry. It is easy to clean. You just go in there with some alcohol and wipe everything down. And there's our pocket. So here is my pocket and I know I'm going to put it on my page in this corner or this bottom portion. So I'm just gonna kind of line this up and I will glue this down after I put some more tabs on the back of it, just like we did on the other pockets. I've got a third of these little label paper papers that I made and I'm gonna put one right here on this side. And I've got another one of the birds. This is a tiny, tiny little bird. I'm gonna stamp it in this corner. Cute, cute, cute. I'm waiting for the glue to dry before I fold this in. So I'm moving on and I've got another book page here. And this time I have the floral motif small. So I'm gonna ink it up and stamp it right in the middle. I want a black border around this and I didn't have another black piece of paper handy. So I'm just gonna use my pen my black permanent pen marker and go around the edges. I like using the pen technique like this because it gives the appearance that I've got layered paper when it's really just one piece of paper. So you don't add a lot of bulk to your journal. Now I'm going to glue this in place up here at the top. I think this should be dry enough that I'll be able to trim it and go ahead and glue it down. Now remember, I like to make my pages flat to put in my journals. If you have a journal that you've already made and you want to do this technique, you can still take this page 
and cut it in half and paste it in or you could paste it in as a full sheet expanding across two pages so don't feel that you have to, a limit when you're putting your journals together i just like to make all my journal pages flat stack them together and then bind them all right so we're going to put some stuff in this pocket so let's get some supplies to create a couple elements i've got a coin envelope here and I've got the Baroque stamp, Baroque background, Romantic Baroque, Baroque. I think it's Baroque. And it's a huge stamp. So sometimes it's hard to get a good impression when you have such a large stamp. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay down my little envelope on top of there. I'm going to grab another scrap of paper. And I'm going to use my brayer to get that ink to transfer. And there it is. Go around the edges with some distressed ink. So I'll pop that into the pocket. I have this little file folder that is sometimes I have these in my subscription boxes and I've added a little piece of fabric. I glued it and then I sewed over the top and I've got these little paper flowers and I thought it would be really cute to place one of these little paper flowers on this little envelope or file folder. And then I stamped with the this textured edges is where this stamp came from. And I just stamped it across that edge. And now I've got this little cute file folder that fits right into this little first tuck spot of our pocket. All right, so over here on this side, I have a book page here that we're gonna make into a multi-layered pocket. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this piece of paper and I wanna fold it in half. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again so I've got this quarter panel that I have folded up. All right, so now I'm gonna start with this first layer. So we've got four pieces of paper here connected together. I'll take this top portion and fold it down and crease it. Then I'll take the next layer and I'll leave a little bit of a gap and I'll crease it down. And then I'll take the next layer and I will crease it down. So I have one, two, three spots. I'll go ahead and fold these to the back, but I'm gonna leave this one coming to the front and I'll go around the edges with Distress Ink real fast. I'll go ahead and glue these little triangles into place. All right, so, so far I've got a spot here, here, and here, and I want to next add some decoration. So I've got some washi tape and we're gonna start here if I can find the end. Thought I kept it where I could get to the end. I hate it when I do that. Okay, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna start on this one and come from the top down at a diagonal and I'll cut off this edge, tuck it around to the back side, and I'll do the same here where I just kind of tuck it back. Then I've got another one and I'm gonna do the same thing, just repeating it down each of these layers. All right, so I've added layers there. So now what I wanna do is add a layer across the bottom. So I've got a wider one. And we're gonna go across the bottom. And basically what I'm gonna do is close up the bottom. So I'm gonna go and fold this all the way over to the back. So that will enclose this and make this a pocket that I can use on all three of those. I've got a little piece of fabric here that I want to put down. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here on this edge, make a little rectangle, and I'll just cut it off even on this outside edge. I've got another one of these book pages that I've cut into a square, and I'll go around the edges with some Distress ink. And I've got an image from Calco Collage. Now I printed this as a monochrome, and this is from the Roses faux postage, I believe it's called. So I'm gonna glue this together and then I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine real fast and stitch around the postage stamp. All right, so I stitched around the postage stamp, kind of cute, didn't it? All right, and then I've got a little piece of fabric here that I'm just gonna pleat and that's gonna go right behind here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here in between these pleats to kind of help hold it together. Then we're going to put glue on the back side here. Put a little glue to help hold this in place. We'll glue this little embellishment down. All right, so now that I've got that glued together, I happen to have some more scraps of paper. And what I want to do is glue this 
down the side. So I'm going to add a little glue right here on this edge. And I want this to stick out just a little bit. So I'm barely going to place it in the glue here. I like that. And then I'm going to come in with this piece on the back side and put it across the uh, top. And then I'll trim off the excess. So I'll trim it here. And I want this even across the top up here. And then I have from the Stitches stamp set, one of the embroidery designs, embroidery stitch designs. I'm going to add a little glue here and I'll ink this up and we're going to stamp on that outside area. See how that looks? It's super cute, I think, anyway. So now I'm going to take this and glue it down onto my page. I've got another one of these faux postage pieces and I want to make a little mat and stick it up here. So I'm going to trim this piece down. I'll use my same technique of going around the edges with a black pen. And then I'll glue these together. So we've got a nice little frame there. And this piece is going to go right here. I've got one journal card already made. So I'll put this journal card in the back here. And this was a calico collage image from All About Robins that I printed as monochrome on white paper. I matted it on black paper and then again on some white cardstock. I used a little bit of trim and glued it with Aline's Tacky Glue and tied a little bow. So that'll go back here. And I have a piece of cardstock here that I thought would look really cute if we stamped on it. So I'm going to use the same stitches stamp and stamp around the edge. And so this journal card will go right there. And I have a printed card from the All About Robins kit. And I'm just going to go around the edges with some distress ink. I printed this on ivory cardstock. And that card will go right there. So we kind of get a nice little layered effect of color. So this is another journal page that you can put in your journal. And again, like I said, if you um, already have a ready-made journal, you can decorate your pages like this and then paste them into your journal or attach them as a, another piece inside, inside your journal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Well, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this tutorial of how I put together this particular journal page with all of its wonderful, yummy elements of stamping and stenciling and using fabric using scraps of paper, including book pages, and a few digital images from Calico Collage, which is here <laughs> and here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you will, go down below and leave me a comment of what you thought about this video. Check the description box for links to my blog as well as the products that I use as well as my Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time where I show how to use the journal pages like this and turn it into a junk journal. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.